The original COVID-19 strain was found in China in late 2019, but since then it's changed a number of times. These changes, known as variants, have been labelled Alpha, Beta, Gamma and now Delta. Initially, fever, persistent cough and loss of taste or smell were the top symptoms. But with Delta, a headache is the most common symptom, followed by sore throat, runny nose and fever. Far more worrying than the change in symptoms is that the Delta variant is 60% more transmissible than the original virus and also seems to cause more disease. It is supplanting all other strains around the world and one dose of a vaccine is less protective than with other strains. So how does the virus work and why is Delta more contagious than the original strain? A virus is genetic material known as RNA or DNA. But let's think of a virus more like an old-fashioned piece of snail mail. The envelope, which contains a very specific address, is like the protein spikes on the outside of the virus. Once delivered to the address, inside certain cells in your body, the envelope is opened and the message is read. And in the case of the COVID-19 virus, that message is simple. Make a lot more copies really quickly. So why the variations in this process? Well, nothing is perfect and that even applies to viruses and cells. In the course of making copies, sometimes a tiny mistake occurs. In the Delta variant, two errors in the copying process change the spikes on the shell of the virus, making them better at binding to other cells and providing easier access into the cells once they've attached. So how do we stop Delta and other variants from occurring? Well, the answer is vaccines. In a spectacular display of global scientific collaboration, a number of effective vaccines have been developed and a further 300 new types are currently being worked on around the world. But given the constant varying nature of the virus, won't we always be chasing a new variant? Well, work currently led by the Westmead Institute for Medical Research may have a solution. Professors Tony Cunningham and Sarah Palmer's team are working on a unique second generation or booster vaccine. Instead of developing new vaccines to target the latest variation of the spikes on the shell of the virus, their vaccine includes the parts of the virus that don't change and without which the virus cannot survive. This way, the vaccine is effective against new variants and doesn't waste time on similar but less serious coronaviruses like the common cold. If successful, the end result would be prolonged and broader immunity, better protection for the elderly and an ability to more effectively prevent disease from new variant forms of the virus. It's also aimed at boosting the body's white cells, which is important in supporting the immune system of aging people and in prolonged protection from the virus.